Hello, welcome back to Cracking the Cryptic. Um, today I'm going to do a similar video to the one Mark did yesterday actually. I'm going to look at the Quick Cryptic um, from today's uh, edition of the Times and I'm going to work through it without giving the answers but explaining how to think about the clues and give you the chance to, to try and solve it um, once the sort of the, the clues broken down a bit. So let's have, have a quick look at this now. Okay, so one across, well already it's a very long clue, but at home terrible strain with fellow being um, stubborn. Okay, so what we're looking here or looking for here is a word, 12 letter word that means stubborn. As always with a cryptic clue, the definition is well, almost always, at the start of the clue or at the end of the clue. And then let's talk about the wordplay, which is the other bit of the clue. So, at home, terrible strain with fellow. At home, well, you need to think of a very short synonym for uh, how you might describe yourself if you're at home. And then terrible, well, terrible is one of the classic anagram indicators. So we're then looking for an anagram of the word strain, followed by what's it going to be? A four-letter word, which means fellow. And if you can come up with something in that order, you should be able to create a word that means stubborn. Let's have a look at one down. Okay, so a team from Milan or Berry. Okay, well, what we're looking for here is a, this is a football reference, so you need to think about a team from Milan, it's not too difficult. And you'll find if you can think of the, the right team from Milan, you can come up with a five letter word that also means bury, not with a capital letter here, that's why there's a question mark at the end of the clue, but uh, it means bury as in to uh, bury a dead body. So I'm not going to give you any more than that, that's enough. Two down. Old Patrol contrived, again, all these words like terrible, contrived, mixed, you should instantly be thinking, oh, can I find nine letters in this clue to anagram? So Old Patrol, that looks very useful here. Contrived to get highest fee. Okay, so you need to come up with an anagram there. It means highest fee. It's not too difficult, I think, to, to unscramble that. Let's have a look at three down. Another very long answer. Making sure master, oh sorry, ancient master gets treatment. Okay, so here again, we've seen it already. We've had terrible, we've had contrived, and here we have uh, words getting treatment. Okay, so Again, gets treatment is suggesting an anagram, and you should find 13 letters there, ancient and master, I think that adds up to 13. And if you shuffle them around, you should be able to create a word that means making sure that will go in down there. So, um, let's have a look at four down. Thus covers will be needed for non-fluid items. Um, I'm sorry, I'm just thinking. No, I'm not sure I've solved that yet, so we'll come back to it. Just in terms of how I'm thinking about it, though, that might be instructive. I think um, this is going to be a six letter word, which means non fluid items. Um, or even just items, and thus covering it. Well, I'm thinking of a short synonym for thus, which might be so, um, and that's going to cover, uh, it could, could be cover in the sense of begin with SO, or it could be cover in the sense of surround, um, a word that means will be needed. Um, but as I say, I have, oh, of course, no, in fact, it is that, but then covers is just a four letter synonym for a for for, um, uh, for for covers, as in tops of things, and if you put those together, you'll find you get some non-fluid items. So you need that short synonym for thus, followed by a four-letter word meaning covers, and that'll do you. Okay, let's have a look at this. Supreme Commander seems original, 
when order is imposed. Good Lord, I think this is another anagram. Okay, so here, again, when order is imposed is suggesting we need to do something with the order of the letters. And I think I'm right in saying that seems original contains 13 letters. So we're looking for uh, a supreme command commander that is an anagram of seems original. Writer has supply of wines set up. Okay, so here again, fairly straightforward. We're looking for a writer. Whenever you see writer, you have to be a bit, um, you know, flexible in your mind. You could be looking at the name of an author. You could be looking at something that writes. Um, and then we need supply of wine set up. Well, what we'll find is that. We have to think of a three-letter word that means a supply of wines. We're going to set that up. We're going to reverse it. This this works because it's a down clue. If if this was an across clue, the setter could not use set up to indicate a reversal of the letters. There would have to be a different instruction, like I don't know, turns round or um, from the east or something like that. You know, to indicate that you're going to reverse the order of letters rather than to um, invert the order of the letters. Okay, let's have a look at um, actually, where should we go now? Let's look at this one. Head in charge of what can be discussed. Okay, well, here the definition is what can be discussed. Whenever we see in charge in one of these crosswords, we should automatically be thinking of IC. That's a common abbreviation for in charge. So we're looking for a three letter word that means head. We're going to add an IC to the end of that and you should be able to come up with a five letter synonym for mean that means what can be discussed. Let's go on to this one. Desire to show obeisance or obeisance depending on how you like to pronounce that word. Um, a fighting yeoman had it. Um, Okay, yes, yeah, it's a good clue, this. Um, so, what we need here is something the fighting yeoman might have had. Um, could be, I suppose, a piece of clothing, could be a weapon. Um, and we need a four-letter word meaning desire. And we need a three-letter word, which means to show obeisance. Um, again, it's a fairly obvious synonym for that latter one. Um, Whenever I see that word, in fact, I always think of Edgar Garland's pose the raven. Not the least obeisance, maybe not an instant stopped or stayed he. But think about what the raven might have done or didn't do, and that should help you. Right, so, ten across. Greek character accommodated in our house. Okay, so here we're looking for the name of one of the Greek letters. When you see Greek character, that's always what you should be thinking. It's almost never an actual character from a Greek play. Um, accommodated in, well, this is one of these clues. There's always one in the Times crossword, and I think in the Times quick cryptic as well, um, where we can actually find the answer hidden in the letters of the clue. It's just, it's just plain text there, so you should be able to look at the letters here of our house, and in the middle of those letters, you'll find accommodated, the Greek character you need. So we look at 11 across. Bird about to get crumbled, bred by stone. Okay. Um, well, I haven't solved this yet. Um, it looks certainly like it must uh, involve um, an anagram of bread, or possibly even an anagram of bread by. We'll come back to that in a minute. Seven down, I don't think we've looked at this one yet. Cover was thrown over article. Okay, so here again we need to be fairly flexible. When, when we're thinking about, um, we've seen a lot of anagrams where the whole clue has been an anagram. It's been given just by one single anagram. It's perfectly legitimate for setters to just give partial anagrams to the answer. So here we have a six letter answer, but actually the setter wants us to only anagram three letters being the, the word was. So we're looking for a six letter word, which means cover. 
was thrown, i.e. we need to throw the letters of was around, and we're going to put those over an article. Now when you see article in a crossword, you should never be thinking of an article as in an item, you should be thinking of articles of speech. So there's the definite article, obviously, which is the, and indefinite articles, a, an, and the like. And sometimes you may see uh, things like French article or German article, and then you just need to make a simple translation. So le, la, um, a, un, and eine, etc., der, die, das. Um, so sometimes the Spanish as well you might see for l. Um, but that's not too difficult, hopefully, now clues been explained. Um, so, what have we got here? We'll come back to 11 across because I couldn't solve that one cold. Um, little Sarah's going to a dance. Well, here's something you have to be aware of. So, Little Sarah, uh, there's a short word that uh, people called Sarah might be called. Okay, so we need that. And you can see there that the apostrophe S in the clue. Now, apostrophe S can just mean it goes alongside uh, the next part of the word play. Or sometimes, and indeed that's the case here, it can mean you need to use the S in the answer. So here what you're actually looking for is a three-letter word uh, for Sarah, followed by an S, being that apostrophized S you see there, followed by an A, I go into A, so we need an, an A as well, dance, five letters. Okay, so you're looking for a dance that ends with an S-A, and, and I'm sure you've all got it by now, but that's to explain how the clues work. Now, one thing I would note here is that in good, well-set crosswords, there shouldn't be any superfluous letters. Okay, so you could see, I think, how this clue could have been phrased, Little Sarah's going to dance, right? The fact it wasn't phrased like that, and we have going to a dance, means that that a ought to be important. And that's something I'd urge you to look out for. Um, uh, you know, there shouldn't be superfluous bits of clues in these well set crosswords. Weapon kept by clan, certainly. Well, I said that there was always one hidden in a Times crossword. There is only one hidden in the main Times crossword. It appears that in the quick cryptic, you can have more than one hidden, because this is another hidden. If you're looking for a weapon, you can find it in the letters of the clue. Uh, try somehow to confront terribly insane and wicked regimes. Okay, well, this is an interesting one. We saw very early, uh, very much earlier, terrible strain, where terrible was an anagram indicator. And here, we've got another use of the same, well, the same root, at least, terribly insane. Um, now, so I think that um, this is going to be a word which means wicked regimes. Um, and it's a partial anagram of insane and an anagram of try at the beginning. So try somehow, the word somehow there is telling us that we need to anagram the word try. Let's go to the right clue. Anagram the word try, follow it with an anagram of the word insane and should be able to fairly simply come up with a word which means wicked regimes. Okay, so star in a church. Okay, well this um, this is a useful tip coming from this clue as well. There are, I think, probably only three abbreviations of church that you need to know. They come up all the time uh, because they're so useful for the setter. Those are um, CH, RC for Roman Catholic, and um, CE for Church of England. And so if you see in this case, we've talked about it already on that earlier clue. This could just read star in church. Yeah, It doesn't. It reads star in a church. So that A is important. So try and come up with uh, a three-letter word that uses one of the abbreviations mentioned and the A, and you should be able to come up with a word that means star. A had meal in cosy home 
with the least clutter around? Question mark. Okay. So here again, uh, th what this means is with the least clutter around. Uh, so you may already be able to think of a seven-letter word that means that. Um, I mean, certainly, it's, it's it's implying a sort of EST type word um, is necessary, and that's that's already helpful in trying to work out how the art uh, the, the wordplay might work. So what we're looking for here is a four-letter word for a cosy home, and we're going to put a three-letter word, which means had meal, in the middle of that. Now, again. The synonyms being used here are fairly straightforward. A synonym for had meal, three letters, well, that's not too difficult. The cosy home might be more difficult, but if we think about the fact that probably, from the way this definition reads, it needs to end EST, then it shouldn't be too hard to figure that one out. 21. Language of girl, hard to follow. Uh, okay, so what we're looking for here is the name of a language. Um, and we need a four-letter word for a girl, a girl's name, hard to follow. Well, what the set is trying to tell us to do there is to use one of the very common abbreviations. So H can be an abbreviation for hard. Um, and we need to put that at the end of the four-letter word for, for girl. If we do that correctly, we'll come up with a relatively common language. Okay, so again, I'm looking, one thing I would note is when I read the start of this clue, it doesn't read that naturally to me. Grocers hyphen men to upset street trader. Now, grocers men to as a sort of you know start to a sentence. It just feels to me like that's forced. Now, whenever you get that sense when you're reading one of these clues and you just feel that wording is strained, always be thinking anagram. <laughs> okay, so grocers men to. Uh, you can immediately see is 12 letters. In fact, it's confirmed because we get the word upset at the end. Upset is a very common anagram indicator. So we need an anagram, gross as men too, and the whole thing is going to be uh, a street trader. So, which ones have we still got to talk about? 12 down, have we looked, have we looked at that? Girls somewhere in London toughening up. Okay. Uh, okay. Right, so this one is um, it's probably the hardest clue in the puzzle, maybe, uh, in terms of how it works. It, it means toughening up. Um, again, the part of speech there is helpful to getting the answer. You know, if some, toughening up, if we're looking for a word that means toughening up, we can, we can make a very good guess as to how this ends. Um, tw we're looking for a three-letter word for a girl's name here, and then we're looking for a six-letter word for somewhere in London. Now you may say, well, there's an awful lot of places in London, and you'd be right. But if you can, if you can guess at the ending here, that becomes a little easier. And um, that's all I'm going to say. Uh, I'm not going to tell you why I'm smiling. <laughs> um, Thirteen down. For example, keeping metal lustrous. Okay. Just quick hit this one. Okay. Um, so, what we're looking at here is a six letter word which means lustrous. Um, now, for example, when you see that in a crossword, uh, it's almost always eg or say. Um, so, you need one of those and you need to put that around the outside of a type of metal. Um, so, uh, if you do that correctly, you should be able to come up with a six-letter word, which means lustrous. Okay, little pig, little pigs maybe in rubbish. Um, what's the answer to this? Um, don't know. Let's come back to that. 18 down, kept in store the rare organic compound. Uh, okay, well here again we've got our third hidden answer. So, uh, yeah, knowing that, that should enable you to solve that one. Okay, so we've got, okay, so which one? Come back to 11 across. 
so third about to get sorry I need to now remind myself that I actually did solve three down so I'll give me the first letter okay okay right now I do know what the answer to this is see checking letters are helpful okay so this is a nine letter word it does mean bird as I said earlier and we've got about to get crumbled bread well there are two short abbreviations for about that are essential knowledge to solve cryptic crosswords they are CA for circa and RE for re, something's re something it's about it so you need one of those you need to follow that with an anagram of the word bread as we suspected earlier and then you need to finally put in place a two letter abbreviation for a stone uh, as this is a st you know if you said you were 12 stone in weight uh, that's the, the obvious abbreviation you'd use there. That will give you the name of the bird. Um, what was that? Oh, 20 down, we looked at that. A social event creating fuss. Well, again, remember, whenever we see an A or something like that, it shouldn't, if it's not necessary for it to be there, so if this could read social event creating fuss, why doesn't it? Why is there an A there? That me, probably means the, this, this, this answer is going to start with A. Social event, a two-letter synonym for a social event. If you put that together, you should be able to come up with a fairly simple word that means fuss. And finally, 15 down, little pigs may be rubbish. Oh, OK, I see. This is, this is simpler than I thought it was. This is simply a, a double definition, the most, I suppose, straightforward type of cryptic clue. Uh, you need a six letter word which means um, rubbish and it also means a collection of little pigs uh, and the maybe there is to say that this word could also be used for a, a collection of various other little animals as well um, okay so that's enough from me uh, I hope this is useful run through um, and we'll see you again next time I'm cracking the cryptic